Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, and sometimes hair, so that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not gonna see here on YouTube. So I only really get asked about sunscreen during summer. Makes sense, the sun's out, you should be wearing sunscreen. But I'm filming this video in what is the UK winter to just emphasize how I really feel we should be wearing sunscreen all year round, and we know we should be wearing sunscreen all year round. So today I wanna share some of my favorite sunscreen sunscreens of all time ever. Sunscreens that don't feel heavy on the skin if you're oily. Sunscreens that aren't alcohol heavy and drying if you do have dry skin. Now, today I'll just be talking about products. So whilst I know sunscreen basics and why we should be using it and how particular sunscreens work, I really highly recommend heading over to La Muffin Beauty Sciences channel. She has a sunscreen playlist where you can learn all the basics of sunscreen, scientific hard facts. Let's start off with the Perito. Centella Green Level Unscented Sun. This is a of course the essential oil and fragrance free version of the sunscreen of the same name. This is a broad spectrum sunscreen, chemical sunscreen, that is actually really nice and moisturizing. So it's really nice for drier skin, but it's also not too heavy for oily skin if you use this instead of a moisturizer. And that's because this does actually contain some really beneficial moisturizing ingredients. You'll find that with a lot of Korean um, sunscreens in particular, that they're more sunscreens with moisturizing benefits rather than moisturizers with SPF. Chucked in. It contains glycerin, hyaluronic acid, uh, niacinamide. There have been occasions that I've worn this sunscreen in videos and people are like, Are you wearing makeup? And I'm like, No, it's actually just this sunscreen. It gives your skin a really nice, silky, glowy, but not oily looking finish. There is absolutely zero white cast with this, like none at all. No stinging sensation, no irritation on the skin, which unfortunately can be effect for me of a lot of chemical sunscreens and chemical sunscreens just happen to be my favorite um, because a lot of physical sunscreens do tend to leave a white cast. My, my only negative is that whilst it feels and looks great on the skin, it doesn't take too much rubbing in. You will find if you're a guy with facial hair that you get a lot of it caught up in your beard or your eyebrows um, and your hairline. So it's a little bit difficult to reapply during the day because you have to constantly check like your hairline and make sure it's rubbed in everywhere. But other than that, it's perfect, it's pretty flawless. Next sunscreen is the Thank You Farmer Sun Project Light Essence SPF 50 plus PA 3 pluses. This sunscreen is formulated without sulfates, dye, alcohol, parabens, triclosan, talc, and mineral oil. And like the majority of sunscreens on this list, it is a broad spectrum sunscreen. Again, feeling just like watery on the skin, you just cannot feel it on your skin. I actually don't have too much to say about this other than it just feels really nice on the skin. It's super light. Again, really non-irritating, no white cast. Oh, I do actually have something to say. This is again a sunscreen with those added benefits. This contains soybean lipids and these help protect and repair the skin barrier. So usually, to be completely honest, when I have really irritated skin and my barrier's been compromised, I tend to skip the sunscreen if I'm not going out. But this is a sunscreen screen I would use on damaged skin very sparingly. But yeah, it's got those protective and repairing ingredients in, again, without feeling too heavy. The next one is the Sun By Me True Seeker Mineral 100 Calming Sunscreen. This is SPF 50 plus, PA 4 pluses. Quite a few people said I would like this and really recommended it and I really do like this. This is the first physical sunscreen on the list. And that's because it doesn't feel like a physical sunscreen. I mentioned I don't like them because of the white cast they tend to leave. But this feels like a chemical sunscreen. It's lightweight, not oily, not sticky. It does leave like a, a really slight amount of a white cast, but after 20 minutes, it kind of like just settles onto the skin. You don't really notice it. This contains ceterol, ceterol, oh, ceterol ethyl hexonate, hexanonate. No, 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 that's not it. It's basically an oily emollient. And ceterol olivate, which is the um, waxy ester of ceterol alcohol, which is those good fatty alcohols. And these are ingredients you see quite commonly in moisturizers. And I was glad to see that in this because actually physical sunscreens are the ones that dry me out more um, over alcohol heavy chemical sunscreens, which sounds weird, but having like a physical sunscreen really just kind of like 
dries me out. But yeah, this didn't do it at all. This is actually targeted at people with acne due to its calming effect. That's because it contains Madagascaricide, um, Centella Asiatica extract, and tea tree, which I know some people can find kind of irritating. This didn't irritate my skin at all. And I can't really speak for the acne effects, but I did experience zero irritation, even when I had irritated skin. The next one is Hadalabo UV White Gel. This is SPF 50 plus, PA4 pluses. This stuff kind of smells not so nice. It's not bad, but it smells like like PVA glue, you know, craft glue, which is fine because it doesn't feel like that or smell like that once it hits your skin. Again, it's a nice lightweight watery texture. It's a chemical sunscreen. This is a sunscreen that um, I can wear with the thickest of moisturizers, put this over the top and my skin still doesn't feel bogged down with product. This also contains Arbutin, um, which we know helps with dark spots, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, and evening out your skin tone in general, as well as the general sun protection you get in this sunscreen. And you have some really nice, again, moisturizing ingredients like the three types of hyaluronic acid, butylene glycol, glycerin, which for me seems to counteract the dryness that some alcohol heavy sunscreens can have on my skin, which is very rare, but some of them can give a lot of people like very, very dry skin. The only thing I dislike about this is the tub. It's kind of like a bit like, oh, you know, like put your fingers in and get it out. And I, I just don't like that. Like I'd rather have like a pump or a tube. But other than that, really, really light. If you have excessively oily skin, this is the one to go for. I just want to quickly mention that of course, Crave Beauty Beat the Sun, the Beat Shield is one of my favorite sunscreens of all time. I have talked about it to death and I know a lot of you can't actually get your hands on this. My favorite thing about the sunscreen is it contains Allantoin, which usually a lot of chemical sunscreens can irritate my skin. But with this Allantoin, it has a nice suit feeling to it. So if you can get your hands on this, definitely, definitely go for it. And finally, Perito Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50 EPA 4 Pluses. We finished where we started with a Perito product. This is a physical sunscreen. But again, it really doesn't feel like a physical sunscreen. They say on the front here, 70% water-based formula. And it does feel like that. It just feels like a very nice, lightweight, watery moisturizer. Zero white cast, no irritation, no dryness, no stinging. And this was actually reformulated to be essential oil free. Um, if you look up the ingredients for this on a lot of websites, it says it contains essential oil when it doesn't anymore. So yeah, this is really a safe option for pretty much all skin types. It's a broad spectrum sunscreen with such high protection in a physical sunscreen that it really does seem impossible for it to be this light. This is so gentle in fact that Perito on the website don't do this because I say it, but it says that it's safe for babies. And they say that this is due to their no nano size ingredients. So no ingredients that can actually penetrate the skin. That often leads to irritation. And this is the sunscreen I go for when my skin is irritated. So when I've done a bit too much, like I know I've like fucked up my skin a bit, this is the one I would go for. I usually use chemical sunscreens strictly in summer um, because of how like white physical sunscreens look on my skin, but this is like a summer one that I use all the time. So again, yeah, it's, it's like a two in one for me, like a moisturizer sunscreen. Now that was the final one, but I do need to talk about Biore. UV rich watery essence. This is, um, 50 plus PA four pluses. I love this. It's lightweight. It glides on the skin perfectly. This is actually my favorite sunscreen of all time, but it is not cruelty free. So it came to my attention that Biore are now actually owned by KO, Cow, KO, which is no longer cruelty free. As a brand, Biore don't test on animals. As a company conglomerate, Cow, KO do, which is disappointing. And again, this is due to the fact that they sell in mainland China, where the government still requires tests on animals for import products, in particular any special use cosmetics. It gets complicated because the company have now sworn that they're not going to use any new ingredients in their sunscreen, which will mean products that have already been tested on animals will no longer need to be tested to enter China or to be sold in mainland China, sorry. But the fact that they entered China in the first place basically is a big no for me. It's annoying and frustrating because this is such a good product and hopefully with the law changing a little bit, kind of, it's very complicated. In 2020, one day I will be able to repurchase this, but for now I will not be repurchasing this. So yeah, I hope that helps some of you decide on what sunscreen may be good for you and your skin type. To put it very simply, if you have dry skin, I'd recommend the Perito um, Centella. Oily skin, this is perfect. Combination skin, I mean, take your pick really. But yes, leave your suggestions down below in the comments box. I'm always looking out for more. But that's it from me now, guys. I will see you next time.